how old were you when you started to figure out what your gifts were? What your <laughs> like so a lot of people, a lot of faith based people call that their calling. Mm-hmm. Um, was this something that you started to to feel like when you started to discover athletics? Was it something that you after high school you were maybe more conscious of it, or was it you just kept following your strengths and interests and? Yeah, I think it just grew over the years. Um, I mean, I've you know I've always believed in hard work. I mean, I, I was really close to actually going into the Marine Corps after high school, which would have been a massive mistake. <laughs> so thank you, Lord, for <laughs> not having me do that. <laughs> Never go in enlisted. Did someone advise you of that? To not do it? Yeah, because I almost no. enlisted when nine eleven <laughs> went down. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, yeah. So I was already. I mean that that was nine eleven. I was in college by then, but yeah, no, no one, no one told me yay or nay. I just, I mean, at the last minute, I was like, no, nah, I just need to go to school. So anyway, but it's it's always been like I've always been an all in or out or an all out person, and that's that's good and bad. I mean, because even in relationships, when I've been like, okay, you know, I could we could either push and make it through, or you know, shoot the deuce and and call it a day. I mean, more often than not, I've been the shoot the deuce and call it a day kind of person. Because Do you I'm... regret that? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Has but... it just been that the that those relationships weren't worth the work? I think so, yes. I do. I truly believe that. And I believe everything happens for a reason. But I do believe that just learning that about myself, just self, self-awareness, um, has, has been huge on my intentionality in dating in the future. You know, because now I'm so much more like, eh, I don't know if this is going to be a good fit. I don't know. Uh, this is this is and, and I'm overly communicative, you know, like, well, this this is how I that this is how I read that. I don't know if that's the way you mean that, but this is how I read. So, I mean, we're you know, we're diving in, which I think is super healthy. You know, we talked about earlier that face to face is so rare, you know, so I mean. Even more so, over communication is so rare. I mean, people hardly know how to communicate anymore. Or they're either timid because they're not sure that they're really able to communicate on a deep level, or they're elated because they feel like nobody talks anymore. So it's like, wow, mm. we're gonna actually talk. So no, I don't I do not regret that. I feel I feel like there were a lot of things just from my childhood and from growing up that I needed to work through. And and I mean more than anything, I mean it took me forty years to learn me to be perfectly honest. Um, and I'm still learning. But I think that's something that has to happen in order for you to truly know who you are and what you need in a relationship and to know what your strengths are going to be in the relationship. You know, in my in my 20s, I would kind of go in blind, you know, and it was it was definitely more superficial or feelings. And feelings are great, don't get me wrong, but feelings aren't going to be there when you're pissed off at him at, you know, midnight over whatever happened so there has to be more there has to be substance there and I mean looking back at you know I I would tell myself at 21 22 dude I mean none of that matters like literally nothing that you find attractive about that person matters at all hey what's up thanks for checking out my videos here on the Jess Marshall YouTube channel be sure to subscribe for sure hit that bell press that button to watch the next video if you got a question you have about any of the topics I bring up in the videos drop a question below and we'll be sure to get an answer back to you ASAP see you on the next one